Two left, one inside, one outside. Get you a lock car. She's locked through the fuel tank. No, the other one from the other side. You what? The other one from the other side. They've, gone, they've only got one left inside and one on the outside now. Yeah. Chap over there was the last one cut out and he's still waiting to go to Blackpool, I think, or Preston. I mentioned it in the last one. I don't retain this information. Not good at that. I'm looking at it right through that fuel pipe. Oof. I bet she's going to be relieved when she's free. It's got to be so uncomfortable. Try and saw in on that if I can. Let you see the intricacy of that is amazing. Oh, bugger. They're ruining my view now. See those where that lady, where the police woman or the protection removal team is working, and, and the protector's arm is through one of these big tubes under the car, runs through to the fuel tank, and straight through to the person on the inside. She's got to be in an exceptionally uncomfortable position, and she's been in that position since three o'clock this morning. So huge respect to the protector there. And the one inside the car who must be feeling like a puppy on a hot day in there. It's so warm. Now, we've been trying to encourage the police to keep their vans turned off. The air around here has been awful because at one point all of these police vehicles had their engines running just to run their own air conditioning. Oh. <laughs> Tell Oz is back today, not only with his drum, but he's got a megaphone. I made the mistake of giving me the megaphone earlier when I was in a very bad mood. I think it was about three or four or five live streams ago. I keep cutting out today because my battery is not my usual battery. I might have to get that back off my shelf tonight. Just get around the other side, you'll have to try and get a different angle. Thank <laughs> you. 